Hey, welcome back to the Human Anatomy Lab at Ohio University. I'm Professor Klein, and today I'll be bringing you the coronary arteries video. All right, with the coronary arteries here, we can start to break it down right away from an anterior view of the heart. And if you want to know more about the heart and the structures that make up the heart, check out my heart anatomy video linked above. But here we can see that there's actually arteries and veins that supply the heart itself with blood. Now the heart pumps blood to the rest of the body, which we can see over here on the 3D printed model. We can see the heart down in here, pumping blood out, traveling, let's say up to the brain, out to the hand or down to the legs and the other organs of the body that's what the heart does for the body but you've got to give the heart itself some blood and that's what the coronary arteries do so let's start up here and remove a few things so we can see a few things and first we're going to remove this so we can see the right coronary artery this is the right coronary artery branching off the base of the aorta. Base of the aorta. We also have the left coronary artery and it's very much hidden underneath the pulmonary trunk. But even though it's hidden, it doesn't mean it's not there. So imagine it branching off that base of the aorta coming on over underneath the pulmonary trunk and coming out right here. Now the first major artery we see is the anterior interventricular artery. It is supplying all the way down this interventricular septum and the ventricles. It's nicknamed the Widowmaker. We can see the circumflex artery coming out over here, circumflex artery. Now, to get from this artery to this vein, we would go arterioles, capillaries, venules, and then jump onto this. This is the great cardiac vein, the great cardiac vein. It's a great vein that's gonna go all the way around. Let's go to a posterior view. Still the great cardiac, still the great cardiac until right about here. And then it becomes what's called the coronary sinus. Coronary sinus is this bubble part the bubble part actually feeds into, flip it again for you, feeds into the right atrium. And then blood would flow through the heart again and perhaps come back out. Maybe this time the right coronary. And the right coronary actually branches over to the marginal arteries. Marginal arteries for the right side of the heart. So right side, left side for that. Keep this right coronary artery going. And what do you do? You come all the way to a posterior view. And now you've got a posterior interventricular artery. Posterior interventricular artery. And the vein in line or parallel with that posterior interventricular artery is called the middle cardiac vein, middle cardiac vein going right up to that coronary sinus. One more vein we got to mention here. Let's turn it on its side. Here you can see a, the small cardiac vein, number 46, as it travels back from the right side of the posterior and the coronary sinus. Everything's draining into this coronary sinus to get you back to the right atrium. Hey, that was your quick coronary blood vessel video with the arteries and the veins. Hit the like button if that really helped you out and subscribe if you wanna see more anatomy and physiology videos from myself. And as always, thanks for watching.